I have titled the message for today as Be Dressed in Readiness. Be Dressed in Readiness. So the word today is not about how to discern the end times, but rather it is to look at what our response should be about his coming. So to, uh, to bring about uh, my message today, uh, I'd like to highlight this opening verse, which is in Luke 12, 35 to 37. Be dressed in readiness and keep your lamps lit. Be like men who are waiting for their master when he returns from the wedding feast so that they may immediately open the door to him when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master, when he comes, will find watching. So what does this girding mean? Girding is to mean that you are preparing to tackle for a difficult situation. In our case, girding our loins is to be ready for his coming and to be ready for his service. So let's take a quick stock of this. When we're saying being confident, let's take a quick stock of this. The first is to really examine what you do with your time and your talents or your gifting and your calling. The next stock that we'd like to take is examine what is in your heart, what you are sowing in your heart. So some questions that you and I can consider as we examine this is looking within to see if there is any unresolved or confessed, unconfessed sin. Looking at our relationships to see if there is any place for reconciliation. Looking at our hearts of disobedience. So examine, take stock of it right now. Because unless we take stock, we can't prepare ourselves. But how can we be dressed in readiness? So how do we look towards the establishment of his coming kingdom while we are still going through this very life. So I have specifically six points. The first one, be expectant. Now, how do we do this? We do this by believing God for his promises. And where do you read about his promises? In his word. So the more that you, the, the the time that you take in reading his word spending in prayer makes you expectant. Let's look at the second thing. It is to be hopeful. You know as we journey through life you know we need a lot of hope as we are at this side of eternity, isn't it? Remember this hope that we are talking about is not wishful thinking or you know like this finger cross hope. The hope that we have is an eager and a confident expectation of things to come. Keep your hope in times of afflictions rooted and anchored on the living hope of Jesus Christ. Next one is to be watchful. What does watchful mean? To ensure that you are alert and awake. So how do you uh, how do you watch out for things of the world is when you have the mind of Christ. Be faithful. Now God has a call on each one of our lives. And that's what we are also called to do. To be morally and spiritually faithful as we are told. So serve God faithfully in your assignment and calling. Fifth one, be vigilant. This vigilant means being careful to, to look for possible danger and difficulties. And this requires the empowering of God. And how? By putting on God's armor. By putting on God's armor. By being ready, prepared to fight. The last one is to be assured. Yes, our sins are forgiven, but when he comes again, he's going to gather us to himself and, and he's taken the judgment away for us. Yes, but we have to give account for what we've done. And that's exactly what we are looking at. 
So be assured that if you trust Christ, He's making a way to come and save you. So remember the return of Jesus is soon and by our hope in His grace, we will be dressed in readiness awaiting His coming.